Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Linux Mint OS in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Linux Mint in your Android using Limbo PC Emulator. So this is the first time on my channel I am showing uh, that I am going to run Linux, uh, Linux Mint in Android so Linux Mint is another version of the Linux and there are a lot of version of the Linux like uh, Kali Linux uh, Kali Pro OS uh, Black Track OS and there are a lot of version of the Linux I have shown on my channel this is first time I am showing Linux Mint so first of all you have to download and install the application Limbo PC Emulator the download link in the description and second thing you have to download uh, the uh, Linux Mint ISO file this is the VSD file the download in the description and it will be in the 5.20 GB the download in the description and make sure there are uh, you have lot of storage in your Android because this is in the 6 GB approximately so and this Linux Mint will going to work with internet and make sure you are connected with the internet and lot of people commenting on my videos to show uh, OS which can accessible internet in the Limbo PC emulator so this is the Linux Mint it's perfectly working with the internet so make sure you are connected with the internet's mobile data or Wi-Fi. So first of all, I am going to open the Limbo PC Emulator application. So as you can see, and I am using the 5.1.0 version. So you have to follow all these settings in the Limbo. Uh, if you not follow, if you are going to miss any single uh, part of these uh, settings, the uh, Linux Mint will going to not work in your Android. So make sure you follow every single step. So you have to click on the None. You have to click on the New. You have to create machine. I am going to give this machine name linux mint so i've created the machine you have to get into the user interface and make sure the sd displays on the sdl and make sure that it's in the full screen and you have to get in the cpu and boards you have to select the architecture 64 you have to select the architecture 64 you have to select the cpu model i always select codeo so i'm selecting the codeo and it's perfectly working with the linux mint and cpu codes i'm selecting for and ram ram will depend on smartphone specifications i'm selecting highest ram 2gb ram i'm selecting 2000 mb and I'm, you have to enable this mttcg and you have to uncheck this disable scs so this is the all the settings you have to do in the cpu board make sure every single setting is the same if this setting not work you have to change according to your smartphone and you have to get into the disk you have to just click to disk a you have to just click to none open now you have to select the or uh, downloaded linux mint vsd file the download link in the description you have to search for this and as you can see here it is you have to select this in the disk a now you have to get into the boot you have to select the boot from the hard disk and you have to get into the graphics and you have to select the uh, vmware so this is the graphics card you have to select in the graphics and you have to get into the network you have to just click to none you have to click, click on the user and default it will you have to select this card 82139 i always select this card because this card is perfectly working and synced with every os and perfectly worked with internet so this is the settings in the network you have to do and you have to get in the advanced you have to just click to have priority so this is the all the settings you have to do in the limo p simulator after doing all the settings you have to just click to play button after clicking play button it will sync booting from hard disk it means every single settings of the limo is perfectly synced with the os and android phone so the os will going to boot in my android so as you can see uh, this is the linux mint and it will not going to take long time it will only take in about uh, two to three minutes to fully boot and this is the linux mint version first time on my youtube channel i am showing here it will going to take some time about two minutes more enough or two three minutes it will also depend on your smartphone specifications and what setting you are selected in the limbo pc emulator
so as you can see in the screen the linux mint has been successfully booted in my android so let me just uh, turn on the screen duration so let me just turn the android phone for better understanding and better view So as you can see this is the uh, Linux Mint as you can see this is the wallpaper of the Linux and it's perfectly working it's only taken about two, 2 to 3 minutes to fully boot in my Android and sorry for these lines coming on the screen because of the super AMOLED display so as you can see it it's also connected with the internet as you can see at shown uh, at dawn it will uh, as you can see it will showing up the internet connected uh, logo so as you can see this is the Linux Mint perfectly booted in Android and there are a lot of preloaded softwares So as you can see this is the start button of the uh, Linux Mint. So there are a lot of preloaded softwares like LibreOffice and many other. So the main thing of this uh, Libre, uh, Linux Mint is I am going to open the browser. So this uh, Linux Mint have a, pre a Firefox preloaded browser. I am going to open it. So as you can see in the screen, the Mozilla Firefox browser open here. It taken some time to open for the first time. So it will going to take some time at first, but after if you using it, it will open very fast and quick. So this is the uh, search bar I am going to type in this. So as you can see in the screen, just now I have uh, typed in the search bar. So as you can see, now I am going to just click on the enter. And now let us the internet is working or not. Uh, so as you can see in the screen uh, just now uh, entered the www.google.com in the search bar and it as you can see the google search engine is opened here as you can see in the screen now I'm again i'm going to uh, type in the google search engine whether let test to the internet is working or not again in the google search engine again i am type uh, uh, in the google search engine let test uh, the google is working or not So as you can see the Google is perfectly working then internet is perfectly working in this Linux Mint. So let me just minimize this Firefox and as you can see this is the Linux Mint perfectly working with internet and there are a lot of preloaded softwares. Uh, the main software of the Linux is uh, the terminal which I am going to open now. So this is the terminal software I am going to open it. We have tested the internet is working now let us test the software is working or not. The main important software of the Linux is terminal because while uh, typing commands uh, in the uh, terminal we can do lot of thing we can do lot of hacking in that so as you can see this is the uh, terminal software and it will take in the root dot pda dot at uh, so let me just type something here So as you can see the terminal software is loading up some commands and as you can see the terminal software is perfectly working so as you can see the terminal software is perfectly working the internet is also perfectly working now you can do a lot of thing in this linux mint so as you can see this is the linux mint os perfectly working in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you